This is Julia. It's educational and it's fun, so I think it's a really good place. She's one of the many children learning the importance of being active in an outdoor education center. It's one of the numerous retreats now popping up in Canada for children to get a fundamental understanding of the natural world and to break the cycle of sedentary lifestyles. Children are spending increasing hours in front of a screen, a worry many educators deem too important to ignore. We know that childhood obesity is on the rise. These places claim to be the cure for a life lived in front of a screen, but are they truly successful in changing the perspective of a child? Getting kids to go outside and explore nature has always been a difficult task. The Frink Centre, which resides in eastern Ontario, engages kids to explore the outdoors with their fun-filled programs that teach the importance of healthy, active living in a natural setting. Air and space. St. Mary's teacher, Haley Butner, knows the importance of environmental education, both in the classroom and outside it. Well, environmental education is a huge part of the curriculum. We kind of start with uh, our own topics of study so we begin with habitats and we talk about where animals live and then we talk about how to take care of those things and we come to the Frink Center because it helps them get a better understanding of why we care about the environment and what we can do to help. Students can't study the natural environment in the isolation of a classroom and from textbooks. They need to come out and be immersed in the landscape that they're studying. And this is why outdoor and environmental education is so critical is that we're looking at studying elements of the curriculum with a hands-on experiential uh, method. It, uh, it's really important for them to come out and see a variety of habitats and actually see and identify and understand what role those species are taking uh, within, the, within those ecosystems. They love it. It's a day out of the classroom, but it's also an application to what we're doing in the classroom. So they get that real world experience. So it's okay to talk about the environment, but to actually get out here and actually see it is another thing altogether. So students having the chance to come out and participate in high quality outdoor and environmental education programs allows them to, to participate in something that they may, they may not have uh, known that they were interested in before. Um, in one sense, it's, uh, it's being able to connect to the landscape, to find a sense of place and, uh, and to step away from from how busy our lifestyles are. Global warming is speeding up the need for children to comprehend this variety of life and decide at an early age to protect it. Educators are trying to implement environmental topics into the classroom, but are students grasping the concept of environmental sustainability? It's very important that they become aware of their surroundings and aware of taking care of our environment because ultimately this is, this is their space as well. So we need to take care of our animals, they're all part of the food chain. And if we don't start here, then we're going to be in trouble. One of Haley's students, Julia, is very enthusiastic about the environment and what the Fring Centre has to offer. I love the Frank Center. It's really fun. Like, you go on hikes and you play games and you, sometimes you make crafts and it's educational and it's fun, so I think it's a really good place. And I think that we've done a great job in implementing a lot of those things in the classrooms and children are becoming a lot more aware and they're taking on a stewardship of their environment. With today's generation of children being heavily influenced to stay indoors, it's important for these types of outdoor education centers to exist, not just for the future of our environment, but for the mental and physical well-being of all children today.